Hey everyone, so we also received the firmware update, the latest firmware update for version 9, 42.2 on our Model 3. And this includes the Navigate on Autopilot. But I just want to mention, quickly mention that now you have an option to get a key fob for your Model 3. So if you don't like the credit card or using your phone as a key fob, you can now purchase this. So we might purchase this and test this out and do another video for you guys. Hopefully it's not that pricey. And lastly is the regenerative braking has improved in the Model 3. Now you get more energy back when you let go of your accelerator pedal. Um, but in this video, I really want to focus on the exit ramp and see if autopilot uh, using navigation will actually stop the car at the red light like it did with the Model X. So as we are approaching this exit, I have no input is on navigate on autopilot with Mad Max engage. And now we're coming to a red light with vehicle around it. No vehicle in front of me. And it came to a complete stop. Now, it's about a car length before the solid line. So I'm going to move it forward before I disengage autopilot here and take over. But this is quite amazing. So it doesn't just work on the Model X. It works on the Model 3. Now, Tesla, in the uh, summary of their update, it mentioned that it does not come to a complete stop once you exit. So they're probably testing this out without confirming that the software is there until they have more data. So this is exciting news. So we probably will see more update to autopilot um, very soon, more improvement, and whether it's detecting a vehicle around it, stopping at the light, or if it's actually detecting the light. We're gonna have to test that out, uh, maybe at uh, a yellow or green light in future video. So stay tuned, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in purchasing the Model 3 S or X, I uh, can't remind you guys enough, but definitely consider using our refer code in the description. Gives you guys uh, free supercharging credit, even if you're not buying a performance Model 3. Even the base Model 3 will qualify for it now. See you guys next time.